friends in the course of methods of preparation of alkanes we have seen two methods first one was from unsaturated hydrocarbons and second was wood's reaction now third reaction we'll see it is decarboxylation of sodium salt of carboxylic acid we all know carboxylic acids are r coh that carboxylic acid when treated with sodium hydroxide a sodium salt is obtained now let us see how is the reaction here i am taking a carboxylic acid which i am treating with noh there h of carboxylic acid and oh of noh that will go as water molecule and what i am forming here is sodium salt r co o n a sodium salt of carboxylic acid it is called sodium carboxylate now this sodium carboxylate i am taking in next step there i am treating with a mixture of noh and co this mixture is called soda line the content here noh and cao are 3 is to 1 then what happens here is uh, alkane is formed and co2 is lost during this course of reaction what is happening here is the alkane formed has one carbon less than the carbons in present in the sodium salt or you may say carbons present in the carboxylic acid now this reaction since there is evolution of carbon dioxide it is also called decarboxylation so this is the simple reaction friends let us now see the mechanism of this reaction what is happening here in the first step is neutralization a carboxylic acid and sodium hydroxide an acid and the base they are reacting of course when a acid reacts with the base uh, neutralization takes place h of acid oh of base that will evolve like a water molecule so this na will take the place of h plus so we are getting r co o na it is called sodium carboxylate of course this is a salt therefore it is called sodium carboxylate now that sodium carboxylate ionizes formation of r co o minus carboxylate ion plus sodium cation now this carboxylate will evolve carbon dioxide the evolution of carbon dioxide takes place this way the negative charge or a pair of electron that comes in between carbon and oxygen at the same time bond between r and c that breaks heterolytically and r minus is generated this is carb anion of course a reaction intermediate of this reaction so this carb anion in the final step reacts with water which is formed in the first step water has a acidic h and r minus accepts that h so there is formation of an alkane now during the reaction what has happened is evolution of carbon dioxide therefore it is decarboxylation and when we see to the number of carbons that are present in the alkane we are having one carbon less than the carbons present in either you may say carboxylic acid or you may say that carbons present in the sodium salt of carboxylic acid friends let us see some of the features of this reaction the very first feature as we know the alkanes produced in this reaction will have one carbon less than the carbons present in the carboxylic acid second point as carb anion is the reaction intermediate anything that stabilizes c minus will favor the reaction or will stabilize this carb anion third very important thing is the carbon having cooh group or cooh-na group gets negative charge that means that a carbon becomes carb anion now let us see one question here the given compound is like this it is to be treated with soda lime and whatever product is formed we are asked what is that product now in this reaction we have seen whatever carboxylic acid we take uh, the product is obtained with one carbon less that means simply i have to remove this part and i should give h to this carbon now you can see the options so here the answer of this question is option 3 the next question on this part is asked in this way which of the following undergoes decarboxylation most easily 
and we have been given four carboxylic acids. The first one is 1, 2, 3, propanoic acid. Second is 1, 2, 3, 4, butanoic acid. Third is 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 oxo butanoic acid. And fourth is benzoic acid. Now, in order to understand which of these compounds reacts more faster, we have to think about the stability of the carb anion that is to be formed. Now, in every compound, we know this COOH is going and the carbon on which COOH is there, there a negative charge appears. So, in every case, I have written their respective carb anions. Now, let us see. It is ethyl carb anion. It is propyl carb anion. This is a carb anion, a special carb anion is formed here. There is phenyl carb anion. Now, if we consider the stabilities of these things, this carb anion is having conjugation in it and it uh, therefore exhibits phenomena of resonance. This compound changes to this and this again interconverts into each other. So, the, this carb anion is more stable or most stable amongst these all. Therefore, compound giving more stable intermediate will be more reactive. So, the answer to this question will be option 3.